what's up everybody welcome back to exotic astrology once again and today we are going to discuss on what to do in the festival which is coming on 28th of april this year which is known as nursing chaturdashi the appearance of lord narsimha dev one of the avatars of vishnu yes so today we will discuss what should we be doing on that day all right so if you're new to the channel and you have not yet subscribed then please subscribe to it and if you want a consultation then please approach me through my website the link is there down in the description below and before i begin as i always say god is there with you all the time just look to him and he will also appear like the way nursing dev appeared from the pillar to rip apart hiranyakashipu okay so I will be going back to the seventh canto of Srimad Bhagavatam to, to discuss this. And especially if you are a Manglik person, which means if Mars is in your first, second, fourth, seventh, eighth, and maybe twelfth house, then you must watch this video. And if you know somebody who is a Manglik, then please, 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 please share this video with that person, okay? Or if you are planning to get married to a person who is Manglik, then also share that this video with that person, even if you are not a Manglik. All right. So why am I bringing uh, the concept of Manglik here? Well, uh, in India, we know there's a lot of fear mongering uh, in the name of Manglik. This Manglik Dosh is there. It says that Manglik Dosh destroys marriage or it destroys marital life or it doesn't let the wedding happen or the spouse is killed or all these uh, things are there in india it is there it's rampant actually so now uh, there are so many things which have to be seen in the chart for difficult marriage or for divorce or for death of these powers and all those things but uh, sometimes people whenever they see somebody's manglik they will directly say that oh that's it your married life is over but the position of Manglik is considered from so many places. The 1st, 2nd, 4th, 7th, 8th and the 12th. So like that, half or 70-80% of the people of this planet will be Manglik. Okay. So now this does not mean that uh, if you are a Manglik, then uh, you will not have marital problems. I am not saying that. I'm, but what I am saying is, it doesn't mean that if you are a Manglik, your marriage is finished or your marriage is destroyed. It, it is not like that. Okay. You have to see the whole chart. But... Why have I made this Nursing Chaturdashi video today? Because if you go to the uh, scriptures, then you will understand that every planet has an avatar associated with it. Yes, we all know that. So for Mars, Mangal, who is the avatar of Vishnu, which is connected? Yes, it is Lord Nursing Dev himself. So there is no doubt that Lord Nursing Dev signifies Mars. Yes, he must signify. So for the western audience or if somebody is not a hindu you are watching this and you don't know or if you are not from india then you might not be aware of this uh, pastime which happened in the satyuga where there was a demon named hiranyaksh so hiranyaksh was uh, the brother of hiranyakashyap and hiranyaksh and hiranyakashyap were two big demons they were born by the union of their father and mother Kashyap Muni, yes, we, we all know that Kashyap and Diti, they had united at a wrong time. So, when Diti approached Kashyap Muni to unite because she was uh, agitated sexually by desire and then Kashyap Muni had warned her that this this story comes in the 7th uh, canto of Srimad Bhagavatam where Kashyap Muni had warned her that you are inviting disaster because if you unite during the... Uh, time when it's evening then it is said that lord shiva will put the ghosts and goblins into the womb because lord shiva is searching where to put the uh, these ghosts and all these things and these demons yes because lord shiva is tamoguna adipati so your actions will not do good to this universe but then diti was so much obsessed with her physical desires that she could not control herself and then kashyap muni also swayed uh, as they say na bhavnao mein bahenge <laughs> so they both united and then there was terrible calamity there was terrible disaster there were two demons who were born yes and because they were sons of uh, arishi they were extremely powerful 
yes we all know that and then these two demons they were named as hiranyaksh and hiranyakashyap so hiranyaksh and hiranyakashyap they had done penance for a long 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 time and then what happened hiranyaksh got the boon from lord brahma and he became very powerful yes now i'll not go into the details what the boons are and all that's not important here but the summary is that he became invincible he did not become immortal because lord brahma himself has a life span lord brahma lives for 311 trillion 40 million years maybe that's somewhere around the exact number so i will discuss about lord brahma's age and how is it that uh, age i mean 311 trillion in the earthly calculation okay we need to go to the manvantara system and then the kalpa system and then 14 manus and 1000 uh, cycles yes divya yoga is starting from dwapar yoga uh, sorry starting from satya yoga then dwapar yoga then treta yoga and then coming to kali yoga and in this manvantara due to some reason the dwapar and treta gets exchanged because of which we see that after satyug dwapar uh, this treta yuga comes but tre is 3 so and then after treta yuga dwapar yuga came in this manvantara but in general dwapar yuga is after uh, satyuga and then is treta yuga okay anyways that's a technical calculation we'll do that later so in this uh, past time what has been demonstrated is Uh, Lord Brahma had given Hiranyaks too many boons and benedictions, and then what happens? He goes and becomes so much greedy that he steals all the gold from this earth, this earth planet, which is there as a part of the Bhuloka, which is in the seventh planetary realm. So then, what happens? The earth loses her balance, and Bhumi Devi sinks down to the ocean. Yes, some say. sink down to the garboda question some say it is not the garboda question it's a different ocean but anyways whatever it is so it went and sink below in the causal ocean and then what happens is there's disaster everywhere because earth is not existing so then how do you how do you have life i mean yes so i mean there are lives unlimitedly in different parts of the universe but earth is very important because Lord Krishna says in the Gita, Udham gachanti satvastha madhye tishthanti rajasa jaghanya guna vrittistha adho gachanti tamasa Udham gachanti satvastha One who is in sattva goes to Udhva. Udhva means goes up to the higher planetary systems. Madhye tishthanti rajasa Which means those who are in rajas, in the mode of passion. stay in madhya in this planetary realm bhuloka and urdham gachanti satvastha madhye tishthanti rajasa jaganya guna vrittistha adho gachanti tamasa means one who is in tamoguna darkness mode of ignorance adho gachanti goes downwards to the planetary systems which are below yes so then what happens is this is how lord krishna explains what happens to people so Bhuloka is the place where uh, we create karma and then where where we can either ascend higher or we can go down yes so basically uh, people who are in the heavens they are enjoying the fruits of their karma and when uh, the uh, that those fruits are extinguished that person comes down and then what happens is you again uh, start the activities in this realm in this bhuloka and then when you perform sins Uh, then you go down and then you stay in the planetary systems which are below and if you are very sinful uh, you might also be taken to the hellish planets but anyways that's a technical detail which i will not go here but what i'm saying is that the uh, the earth went down because it lost the balance because all the gold was extracted yes and then hiranyaks had created terror in the universe and then all the demigods headed by indra chandra and all the adityas and so all the other demigods devatas they worship they approached lord brahma and then lord brahma said oh i have only given him the benediction now i can't do anything <laughs> so that means they went to lord vishnu yes and then what happened this lord vishnu says okay i'll kill him i have to take an incarnation and then lord vishnu takes the incarnation of varhadev yes who is a boar actually and then varadev goes and brings the earth from the oceans and then varadev goes and kills hiranyaksh 
and this agitates the mind of Hiranyakashyap, who was the brother of Hiranyaksha. And when Hiranya Hiranyakashyap heard this, he also became extremely angry. And of course, your brother has been killed, but he was a demon. So Hiranya Hiranyakashyap thinks that I will take revenge against Vishnu. Against whom? Against Lord Vishnu. I will kill Lord Vishnu, it is said. Okay, This is what he used to think. And then he also did penance. Lots of tapasya he did. And then by that, Lord Brahma, the creator of this universe, the four-headed Brahma of this universe, appeared and again gave him so many boons. There's a long list. Like Lord Brahma said that you will not die inside the house or outside. You will not be killed by a weapon or anything related to water or uh, nothing sharp yes you will not die in the day or in the night yes and nobody who has been created from me can kill you as in hindi they say hamare srishti se koi aapko maar nahi sakta but that's the fun because everybody is created by lord brahma only i mean the uh, li living entities who are having material bodies in this universe they are coming through Brahma only. Yes, not the soul, but the body. So, Lord Brahma is the one who gives the bodies in uh, conjunction with Mahamaya, of course. That that uh, connection I will explain in some other video. That Srishti, Sthiti, Pradhan and all those things which are there in the Bhagavatam, which I will explain in some other video. But then what happens is Hiranyaksha. Hiranyaksha is dead and then Hiranyakashyap becomes very 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 powerful yes and then he goes and creates terror in the universe and then Hiranyakashyap is like the undisputed emperor of the universe yes and um, out of his fear it is said that if he would raise his eyebrows Indra would shiver and then Indra would send the rain sometimes yes and then sometimes there would be mangoes even in the winter it is said <laughs> because he would uh, order the seasons to change he would order the planets to change their positions and dynamics so he was so powerful and then there was total ruckus in the society yes he had made all the laws for he had, he had changed all the laws and everything was going topsy-turvy and then the demigods again headed by indra approached lord brahma and then lord brahma again expressed his helplessness but what happened this hiranyakashyap he got a son who was none other than one of the 12 Mahajans. Yes, the Srimad Bhagavatam uh, entitles 12 great personalities as Mahajans. Yes. So should I recite the shloka from the Srimad Bhagavatam? Yes, yes, yes. Definitely I will recite. Why not? And I have also made a video on the 12 Mahajans. Please go and watch it. Okay. Swambhu Narada Shambhu Kumaro Kapilo Manu Prahlado Janako Bhishmo Balir Vaya Sakhi Vayam Swambhu Narada Shambhu Kumaro Kapilo Manu Prahlad Prahlad Yes, so I will not discuss on the remaining now But I will discuss on Prahlad now So What happened was When This Hiranyakashyap was doing Tapasya Then what happened This His wife Kayadhu Yes, was pregnant And Prahlad was there in her womb But then what happened was The demigods were so much Concerned about Uh his son that they used to think that if this person is such a big demon then his son would also be a demon like him so it's good for the will of the universe that we kill this person in the womb of his mother only yes i mean that they wanted to do for the good will of the universe because he was a demon ultimately yes hirnakashap was a demon and his son would also be a demon son or daughter whatever you say <laughs> But maybe demigods had the power to know that that person will be a son. And then he will follow in the footsteps of his father. And then they abducted Kayadhu, the wife of Hiranyakashyap. And then they decided to kill her. And the moment they were about to kill her, Narad Muni, Brahma Putra Narad appeared. He is direct son of Brahma. He is the Manas Putra. And then what happened is, he said that my dear Indra and my dear demigods, you don't know who is there in the womb. He's one of the Mahajans. He's a Mahabhagwat, which means he's a great, he's a great devotee of Lord Vishnu. You cannot even dare to touch him. He's such a great personality. Yes. He's a Paramahamsa. He's a Uttam Sreshth, Sreshth Bhagwat, as they say, who is totally lost and absorbed in God. Yes. 
and then what happened indra and the other demigods when they heard from narad muni that's the quality of the demigods yes as shrimad bhagavatam says halava bhaktasya kuto mahad gunan manorathe nasati dhavato bahi so i will explain this shloka some other time but what i want to say here is that the demigods are so great that when narad muni said something they did not argue they did not counter question and they did not say oh what's the proof now you are saying this is right or wrong we don't believe you or they were not skeptical like so many people these days so they they directly believed what narad muni said because they were completely uh, knowledgeable and cognizant about narad muni's authority in the vedic world so then narad muni said please don't kill this person okay lord vishnu will not let that happen and it is a great disaster if you do like that although he is the son of a demon but he is a great 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 devotee of lord vishnu so never ever ever try to do that and then indra and other demigods they did a pradakshina of kayadu which means they circumambulated kayadu uh, and then they offered their respects and obeisances and then they left towards their heavenly realms and by that kayadu was saved and then what happened was kayadu who stayed in the ashram of uh, narad muni and then narad muni's ashram is very spiritual very nice very uh, it's filled with sanctity and the holy names narayan narayan ram krishna all these things are going on all the time and then narad muni uh, understood that a great personality is there in the womb of kayadu and then narad muni used to give lessons spiritual lessons to kayadu and then pralad maharaj in the womb only he would learn all the lessons and by that he became a perfected soul so then what happened kayadu gave birth to pralad maharaj and then that's a very long story i will not go into details but pralad was a very great uh, devotee of lord vishnu and then from his childhood only he was sent to the institute of shanda and amarka who are the sons of the great shukracharya who is known as venus yes shukracharya in astrology venus so shukracharya is the uh, guru of the de- demons yes rakshas guru shukracharya and brihaspati is the guru of the demigods yes dev guru brihaspati so then hiranyakashyap sent pralad maharaj to the school of shanda and amarka to learn politics to learn diplomacy to learn uh economics to learn mathematics yes because he had to become the king so it was his responsibility to know all the things but then unfortunately or fortunately rather pralad maharaj was least interested in all these things and when shanda and amar ka would say to them that oh look they are your enemies they are your friends then pralad would say what nonsense is this man everybody is a soul what is this friend enemy distinction you are making that's that's very wrong and then he would preach to he, he was he was less than 5 years that time yes 5 years <laughs> and then he would preach to his colleagues yes to not colleagues maybe his friends yes and then um, he would turn all of them into great uh, spiritual personalities by his power five year old boy he is not some 50 year old big guru speaking on something so and by that this shanda and amarka sons of shukracharya were extremely disturbed and they went and complained to their father that we cannot keep this student in the ashram because if we keep them then we will be out of here because the way he is teaching about god and about goodness about spirituality and the way we are teaching them about politics and crooked things about killing about friendship about enemies nobody is listening to us everybody is only listening to him because his power is more than us you see so then that's total disaster our institute will close down our university will be banned <laughs> so then um, shukracharya was unhappy to hear this and shukracharya also tried to convince prala then uh, he tried to talk with them that see these devatas are your enemies your duty is to go and conquer them and uh, your duty is to enjoy your duty is to do this your duty is to do that but then prala was like no everybody is a living entity everybody is a spirit soul why should we keep all these feelings oh he is enemy he is friend everybody is a friend sarvam what is that shloka is there i forgot that everybody is a friend yes vasudeva kutumbakam that the world is like your home and everybody inside that is like your family member yes so pralad had this uh, conception of because he was a great devotee he was a perfected soul he never saw anybody as Uh, boy or a girl man or woman or enemy friend yes so then what happened is pralad maharaj then 
he uh, shukracharya took him to hiranyakashyap and he said to hiranyakashyap that your son doesn't listen to us <laughs> your son is very arrogant he's very uh, not arrogant exactly he, he doesn't listen actually yes he's very he's he's a very staunch believer of his principles yes so then hiranyakashyap takes this 5 year old boy in his lap yes and he's caressing this baby boy 5 year old boy kissing him in his cheeks and in his forehead and then what happens hiranyakashyap asks him so my dear son how is school <laughs> then he says my dear father school is fantastic we are talking about lord vishnu and his greatness and then hiranyakashyap is like <laughs> Holy Jesus Christ why do you talk of Vishnu he is my greatest enemy you should not talk of Vishnu you should talk of anybody else yes and then pralad maharaj says that very famous shloka that shravanam kirtanam vishnu smaranam that the nine processes of devotional service he explains in that and then hiranyakashyap is so angry and this keeps happening repeatedly yes and then hiranyakashyap says that oh if you don't listen to me i have to kill you and then he goes i had to kill his own son yes and they try so many things pralad is thrown to a pit of dark snakes in a well but nothing happens he is thrown from a mountain nothing happens elephants trample on him but nothing happens the bhagavatam explains all these miracles which happened to him he is always saved lord vishnu always protects him and then what happens is finally hiranyakashyap decides i will personally kill him yes and then one day he says that oh that's it enough of your lessons now i will teach you yes and then pralad says oh why are you saying like this lord vishnu is not your enemy he is the greatest well wishing friend of everybody lord krishna says in the gita suridam sarva bhutanam gyatva mam shanti mrutchati one who understands that i am the most well wishing friend of every living entity that person attains peace yes that's the peace formula so then what happens hiranyakashyap says oh you are saying god is there where is god show me yes so nowadays also there are many people who say that oh where is god if god exists why is he not visible so they think that that personality who has created the entire universe should be visible to them by their tiny fold of eyes only then that person exists okay then or if he is not visible then that person doesn't exist so that's the conclusion of many people in this dark age of kali yuga that's very unfortunate but what can be done so there were people like this in those ages also like hiranyakashyap so hiranyakashyap said that no i don't believe god exists i know i am the god here yes as somebody said now that titanic is a ship which even god cannot sink so maybe god accepted the challenge <laughs> anyways so then what happens is hiranyakashyap says oh if god is there prove it to me where is he yes and then he goes on goes on destroying things and then finally he breaks a pillar and then from that pillar to prove the words of pralad as tick tick mark right yes to prove what pralad said is correct is right is then nursing dev appeared yes the avatar of vishnu nursing dev appeared from that uh, pillar the pillar broke apart and the nursing dev appeared his name was nara simha nara means human and simha means lion so his the top part was like a lion and the bottom part was like a human and he was not an animal nor he was a man nor he had any weapon i mean he had weapons but then he took hiranyakashyap and he took him to the door where it was not either inside or outside and it was evening i think it was not day not night also and then with his uh, nakha yes this is jaws or whatever you call it because in the song uh, the narsim arti it is there tava kara kamala vare nakha <laughs> so he puts all these na no, these nails into the body of hiranyakashyap and he rips him apart completely hiranyakashyap is dead because how can you fight with lord vishnu ultimately yes whoever you are doesn't matter so then hiranyakashyap is dead and then nursing dev takes pralad maharaj and he becomes uh, no before that nursing dev is very angry because he had insulted pralad very badly yes hiranyakashyap and then nursing dev is so angry it was appearing that his anger will burn and destroy the entire universe 
and then lord brahma said to prahlad my dear prahlad you have to go now you have to do this you have to pacify lord because lord shiva was also f- uh, he was also uh, he was also confused he was also very fearful to go near nursing dev and even lakshmi said oh i have never seen my husband in this form so angry i have never seen i am very fearful and then brahma also could not go near him and then brahma says to prahlad my dear prahlad please do the honors it is there in the shrimad bhagavatam seventh canto and then prahlad maharaj goes and he speaks to nursing dev and then nursing dev is pacified so whoever is manglik or whoever is non manglik for all the people <laughs> it is very essential that on nursing chaturdashi we recite the narsim arati yes so i will put the narsim arati below in the description so please recite this one time two time three time four time maybe 10 time the whole day you keep reciting this whoever you are even if you are not a manglik or if you are a manglik then recite it thousand times yes because by that what happens we are ask we are requesting nursing dev for protection yes and mars is the significator of violence mars is also the significator of protection because nursing dev signifies protection but when we chant this nursing marti it is highly essential that we pray to nursing dev in the mood of service in a mood of helplessness no because sometimes life just throws things upon us where which are beyond our control where we can't do anything yes so then the important thing is that we pray to nursing dev and i will also put the description in the description i will also put the link of the nursing marti which i had sang earlier so it is there in my channel so if you want to go and see that you can also see that yes so this is a uh, arti which is which uh, is sang for the praise of nursing dev to glorify him so when we do that wherever our mars is whichever house it is ruling whichever house it is kanja mars will naturally improve mars will be pacified all right so that is what i would say that please uh, please uh, chant this narsi marti or some name of vishnu like ram or krishna that will also do but this day specifically the narsi marti is very 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 important okay so that will ensure that ja- the way nursing the protected pralad we are also protected from all the upheavals and disturbances and calamities in life and the way hiranyakashyap was killed that way our anarthas will also be killed anarthas are bad things which are inside us nursing they will rip apart all of them all right so that is it from my side if you want to hear the nasim arti and see the lyrics it is there in the description click it below you will see it and that is it from my side if you are new to the channel <laughs> please subscribe and if you want a consultation then approach me through my website and if you like this video then click thumbs up and share it with those who are interested to know what should a manglik person do okay that is it from my side wish you good luck long video as usual bye bye see you tata